Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial and today it's on the hide and seek plugin. So this is a fantastic mini game which allows your players to test their hiding and seeking skills in Minecraft. So obviously one team are the seekers and the other team being hiders will be disguised as random blocks which you set and hopefully they can outlast all of the seekers. So what we're going to do is show you how to set it up and then have a quick game with my other account. So first of all, if we do forward slash has admin, that's going to show us all of the commands. And what we need to do is forward slash has create, and then we need to choose a name, so test, and then the minimum amount of hiders, the minimum amount of seekers, and then the max amount of players. So hit enter, that's going to create it, but it's also going to disable the game because we need to set some locations. So the first one we want to set is both the global lobby and the lobby, which is going to be up here. So if we do forward slash has set global lobby, that's going to set that. And if we do has set location for the arena test, we can set lobby as one of these. So now that we're in here, we can go ahead and set the seekers waiting and seekers playing. Now that the two seekers spawns have been set, I'm going to fly out here and over to this point here. And this is where the hiders are going to be spawning. There's only one more thing we need to do, which is the has, edit, and then test. And in here we can change additional things. So there's lots of things we can change here. So obviously the amount of seekers and hiders we already set, the max players. You can change the lobby time by clicking this to reduce the amount of time you have, for example. And we can go into arena blocks. So these are the default ones. However, what you can do is just grab random blocks that you might think would be good for players to hide as and pop them in there. So I'm just going to grab a couple, do the edit command again, and then you're just going to drag and drop all those blocks in here. So if you want to have the chance of spawning as a mob instead of a block, what you need to do is grab an egg, pop it in here, and then you need to name it mob colon and then the names. So this is a pig, like so. And then you can do has edit followed by your arena name and then pop it in arena blocks. And now you could spawn as any of these or as a pig. And the final thing I want to show is the power up. So you can set power up locations by doing has power up add and then test. And then that will spawn one here that people can go to to acquire a power up. Next, you want to enable the arena and then on the right, save and apply. Don't forget to do that. And then the game is ready. So before we jump into it, we're going to make a few signs. So has in square brackets is how you make one of these. We can do an auto join sign, like so. We can do a sign specifically for joining an arena. So join on the second line and the arena name on the third. And that's gonna change the block behind it as well. We can do a leave sign as well. And then we can do stats as well in case people want to see how they're doing. And then finally, we can see who is the top player by doing top, and you can do one, two, three, or whatever rank you want to look at. So if we right click stats, you can see all the information here, and we can jump into the match by right clicking. So when we're in here, there's a few things we have. We have the shop where you can increase the chance of being a seeker or hider, for example. There's various perks in here you can purchase if you wanted, and depending on how many coins you have, you can buy some of this stuff. Now, if you have the correct permission, you can buy some of these trails to make yourself look cooler. But apart from that, we are ready to go once my other account joins. As you can see, my other account has joined the game and it's counting down 10 seconds before we're going to spawn in. So as you can see, I've been selected to be the seeker, so I can start running about searching for the other player. And over here, I don't believe this was here earlier, so if I give it a little tap, we can see it is in fact not a crafting bench, it is my other account. However, we still need to wait a few more seconds before Seeking goes live, and here we go, we've been released, so I've spawned to the playing spawn point. And if we run over here, we can find out where my other account is, he obviously hasn't moved, and we can get him, give him a couple of whacks, and we should win the game, and there we go. Here is my reward for winning. Thanks for playing, get a nice cake. And we should be teleported back to the lobby in a couple of seconds. And there we go, that is how you'd play a match. Obviously the more people, the funner it would be. And here we are in the hide and seek folder. You can see there is a ton of YML files. So if we go into the config, that's the main one you want to be looking at. You can change stuff in here. So you disguise players as blocks, true, full damage, yes or no. 
and then the initial chance to be a hider is 60%, obviously you can change that. And we can scroll down and you can see that the join GUI is enabled, reward starting seek is true. So lots of this you can just customize depending on what you want to do. And then when you get a hider kill as a seeker or a seek kill as a hider, how many points do you get? And then same for all of this, how many XP do you get and how much karma do you earn? And then if we scroll down, we've got stuff about the trails and fireworks, you want to enable them, yes or no, and the amount and the size. So a lot of this is just customization. And then down here we can edit stuff in the shop. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.19. It is a premium resource, so it does cost, but it is a fantastic plugin. It works really well and it has a ton of features. Now, in order for it to work, you need either Libs Disguise or I Disguise. If you don't have that, you won't be disguising as blocks, you'll be standing there. Here are the signs that we talked about, and if we scroll up a little bit, we have commands and permissions here. So if you want to check it out, head over to the link in the description. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.